welcome back to AppSheet tutorial so in this video we are going to continue our last video of list expression so here we are going to create one small accounting app using some list expression and math expression so let's see the practical demo so yeah we already created an expression app so if you are new to this channel just check the, the app sheet expression checklist so there you can follow up all the videos of previous topics and yeah so today we're going to create a one small accounting kind of app so here we go to the data so here this accounting is like a number of sales number of purchase happen total amount so it's like a small sample accounting app so we have already created a products for laptop and mobile and the price we have given so in the customer database so we are collecting the customer name what product they are choosing the price the respective product price and quantity and we are calculating total amount so here is the continuation of this products and customer sample so now we are going to calculate so total amount of sales and the number of quantities are purchased and how many customers so the count of the customers using the list and math expression okay so let's create some data for this customer so we have already in our last video we have seen the admin product views okay. so we can check out the list how we can restrict the views for particular for admins and users so today we will see the customer thing so thing. let's go to the ux and here we'll create a new view called customer for the data for customer okay so we'll selecting right most and now let's save this so here now we add some customer data and then we'll do the maths part we are creating a customer product which we are referring to this sheet product sheet so which has two products which we i'm selecting laptop and the respective prices are loaded up and selecting the two yeah. so we'll delete this column so we can make this column as total sales okay. so which is total sales amount which means uh, all of the entries which we are going to put it will add up this all the total amount so what we can do is so here in the formula select which is the list expression select from the customer table the column called total amount so, and there is no restriction so we give true so what is this true means so it will return all of the records so if we restrict so instead of true we can give any condition to filter out so now we have to calculate all of the total amount so we have given true the expression is valid but it's not this one okay so now we are selecting all of the customer data of total amount and then we have to use some math function to calculate the all amount so here yeah now i'm saving this column we'll just save here I'm just adding customer product quantities to two 
chances of total sales is zero because there is no entry for this as of now and i'm saving this okay so we'll trip we'll add this unnecessary columns in the us so it's a bit confusing so i'm deleting this these are all the previous expression explanations. You can check the checklist of all the app sheet expressions. So I created a playlist for the app sheet expressions. You can just check these expressions how we can use and all. Okay, so deleting this. Okay. Now we here in the customer. Oops. The data what came here. No, but it's not showing here. Mm -hmm. Let's refresh this thing. This okay, you need to see. Okay, so I have added one entry called uh, Aditya of about two laptops. Now we'll add another customer. Some and brought mobile like five mobiles he bought, and the total amount is five hundred. So actually, we can create one dashboard. So how many customers who purchased and what is how many quantities and the total amount, so that it will be understandable. So when the total sales amount we are looking here in the form is it doesn't make sense because this is an individual form but we are showing total sales amount so what we can do is let's go to the form uh, the customer tables we have to hide this column so we have show option here right so show if we remove this it will disappear but we can't use it anywhere so we have to put some condition let's hide this as of now okay now. and we'll create another virtual column called number of customers purchased okay so that will give a dashboard is a good number of customers purchased so what we can do is in this column uh, select the customer table same like that for total sales and here select customer name there is no filtering we are going to select all and here we are going to count instead of sum we are going to count because it's, a, because it's a number of customers so if two or three customers purchase it will show the count number value was two three let's go up okay i'm saving this and the number type data type it will automatically selected as number data type and then so this also we need to type and then we can create yeah so as of now first we'll use this to for the dashboard okay i'm saving this okay. now i'm going to add another customer detail with the purchase it's my two mobile I'm saving here then we have to create one dashboard view right for accounting dashboard so how we can do is we will create a new view called accounting dashboard so dashboard we should select detail view okay so for which table is customer data so here we are going to calculate and show the dashboard right and here 
we are going to show only the total number of customers who purchased and the total amount of sales okay so let's remove this slideshow more and uh, column order to give so the two column we are going to give. see now i am not able to select the whatever the virtual columns we have created total number of customers purchase because if you see here we, we removed the show button so that's why it's not showing in the detail view. so what we can do is we have to show with some ex with some conditions so if we go to the customer in this view we should not show those virtual columns so this view name is called customer form okay so the customer form we should restrict this show if i select show now it will show up here also so we don't want this so what we can do is we can edit and show we can use the expression called so context so this is the context expression you can use this context view not equal to customer form so which means so in the context in the view it should not customer form so all other places we can be able to see this thing okay so i'm saving this customer form we are restricting this and uh, the same thing applies to this number of customers purchased also okay so i just copy this expression and paste it here customer form okay now once i save it will hide up because this is a customer form we are restricting these two values in the customer form okay. now we are not able to see now in the dashboard view so we created a accounting dashboard here now i am able to select this columns total say some number of customers purchased okay i can show here like this so see here so this is the accounting dashboard so let's arrange this this i'm going to delete customers means maybe the first call accounting dashboard. so i'll make it as left most we don't want show also Oops. this is the products the customer and accounting dashboard okay i will save and we'll add another customer so it will show up as key and whatever the amounts he purchase it will get added So let's create another customer. Customer take and product with the laptop and he one he purchased. So total amount 400 will get added to the 1300. So if you see here, then refresh. So the total customer is 300 and it got added the 400 to 1300. So this is the basic dashboard view of accounting sample app. And we have here we used uh, the list expression and uh, math expression to calculate this. So the select statement which will be the very useful for app development. And the sum which is the math expression we are selecting all the total amount. And we are calculating that. Here we are using another list expression and count expression so which means that it will count how many customers like basically how many records it returns so customer here here we have three so one two three and we are using the count expression we are counting so it shows up three 
okay guys thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe and uh, in our next video we can see about uh, can see about the text expressions so we can do concatenate and other steps using the text expressions we can find email and all yes so thanks for watching